Hello once again options traders and I received a good email from one of our traders asking about the difference between the current curve and the expiration graphs and that's because in most of my videos I do have option risk graphs on them it's pretty hard to teach options without them they do make everything a lot easier but he said I'm not quite sure what these two different lines are showing so good question and for anybody who might have some questions about the current and expiration graphs you definitely want to make sure you understand this it's going to make things a lot easier for analyzing strategies so before we get started if you could as always please click like I really appreciate it it is going a long way in helping to boost the channel so the first thing to understand is that when you are dealing with risk graphs or profit and loss diagrams there are really two of them now a lot of times I don't show them but there are always two. There's one that's called the expiration graph. And what this is, is it's just showing that at expiration, a call is worth either zero, if it's at the money or out of the money, or it's worth the intrinsic value. And that's all that this graph shows. So let's say that the stock is currently at 105 at expiration. You've got the $100 call. Well, that graph is going to show that call is worth five. It's just exactly the amount of the intrinsic value, which would be just the difference between the strike and the current stock price. On the other hand, let's say that the stock is trading at 101 instead of 105. Now the graph is going to show that this $100 call is worth only a dollar. And if the stock is equal to 100 or lower, it's going to show the option is worth zero or that you are at the point of maximum loss. So in this sense, Options pricing is easy. It's worth either zero or intrinsic value if you are talking about expiration. But when you're trading, you're usually not worried about what's happening in the final seconds of an options life. You want to know what's happening with 30 days to go or 60 or a year. And for that, you need to look at the current graph. And the current graph simply shows any intrinsic value plus any extrinsic value. That's the difference. The current graph shows the extrinsic values. So again, if there's any intrinsic value in the option, yes, it will show that too. But it's letting you know how much value is there because time exists. So for example, let's say that you buy the $100 call for $3.50. So this is the risk graph. And as I always point out, we get a bend at the strike price. So because you purchased the 100 call, it lines up right there at 100. And this black line is called the expiration graph. Now, these risk graphs are actually showing you your net profit. And that's why it's sometimes called a profit and loss diagram. It's showing you what actually lands in your pocket. So, for instance, let's say that the stock is 105 going into the expiration bell. Trace a line, just an imaginary line, from 105 up to the black line. Look left, and it looks like it's lined up at 150. And that's because this option would be worth $5. You paid $3.50, so the profit to you is a buck fifty. But that's only right at expiration and only if the stock is exactly 105. What if the stock is up here at 110 at expiration? Same idea. Just trace a line up to the black line, look left, and it's lining up at 650. Why? Because with the stock at 110, the $100 call is worth 10, you paid 350, and therefore you have a 650 profit. So this black line is just showing you all of the values. Notice that at the strike or below, you reach the maximum loss, and that's because the option has expired worthless. And here you would just lose the 350. So that's why this black line lines up right there at 350. If the stock is above 100 at expiration, then your profits lie on this 45 degree angled portion, everything above this bend, because it's behaving like stock, because you could exercise the option and convert it to stock. So it's just going to behave dollar for dollar with the stock as long as you are talking about expiration. So it's really easy to value options at expiration, either intrinsic or zero. Well, again, most of the time, you're not trying to figure out what's happening moments before the option expires. Let's say you've got 30 days till expiration. So you paid 350 for this option. Do you look at this black line? 
nope, it's got nothing to do with your profits at all. Instead, your broker's platform is probably going to generate a line that looks like this. This is the current risk graph. How do you read it? Same idea. If the stock is 105 now, let's say with 30 days to go, what's your current profit? Well, trace a line up to the blue curve, look left, and it says that you're at about $3. Well, that's a lot different from the $1.50 we saw before at expiration. And that's because this distance between the blue and the black curve is the extrinsic value. And so what if the stock is at 110? Find 110, trace a line up to the blue line, and it shows that you're going to be worth just under $7. Now also notice that as the stock price rises, this blue line is getting closer to the black. And that's because as the option starts going deeper and deeper in the money, it's getting closer to shares of stock. And so the extrinsic value is starting to bleed away. And eventually it just becomes shares of stock, even though you might have 30 days till expiration. If that option is deep enough in the money, it's going to behave just like shares of stock. Now on the other side, notice that if the stock falls below 100 at expiration, it was completely worthless on this black line. Prior to expiration, that's not true. So even down here with the stock at 95, you can see that this option shows that we would only have a $2 loss instead of the 350 maximum. So we've only lost $1.50 on this date at this stock price. Now here's where it gets really interesting. As time passes, this blue curve obviously changes because there's less time on the clock. So let's say that five days have passed, or in other words, 25 days remain on the option. We're no longer on this blue line. It's gonna dip down a little bit down to this orange. And we read it exactly the same way as I just showed for the blue. It's just that now you can see the option isn't quite as valuable because the orange line sits just a little bit below the blue. So the distance between the blue and the orange is your theta or your time decay over that time period. Five days later, you're not going to be on the orange, you're going to be on the gray. Dips down a little bit more. Five days later, you're down here. And let's say that another five days goes by, we're down here to the green and you can see what's happening. Eventually, this green curve right here just keeps dipping lower and lower until it eventually molds itself right into that black curve, but only right on the expiration bell. So even though this curve is changing, let's say from the blue to the orange and so on, you still read it the same way. The graph is just showing you how your profits are going to change over time. Now this was a, at least hopefully, fairly simple example. It's just one option, just one long option. Obviously, as you get into more complex strategies, these graphs become really invaluable because sometimes it's hard to see how things change and how it might go from negative theta to positive theta, depending on what's happening and where the stock price is. But it all starts with understanding how to read your basic expiration graph and your current curves. And so I hope that helps. So for anyone who'd like to learn more about the arts and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course, Strategy Lab, and a technical analysis course. It's all at optionsa to z.com. Also, please join us on the YouTube channel, Options A to Z, Facebook trading group, and you can find a link in the description below.